How are you? Oh, I am terrible. Yeah. Take two. Hey everybody, this is Hanging with Humans, uh, episode seven. Um, today I have a very special guest. He's a dear, dear friend of mine, one of my best buds of all time, Mark Tavry. Say hello, Mark. Hello. Mark has a very rad nickname. What is that nickname, Mark? It is Mutt. Mutt. M-U-T-T. M-U-T-T. So if you see Mutt on the streets, holla at Mutt. Say what's up. Say what's up. All right. Um, Mutt, I want to start off with uh, learning a little bit about yourself. Um, we've been hanging out for a bunch of years now, maybe yeah. like eight, nine, ten, something. Um, didn't know much about you before I moved here. So that's kind of the kind of things I want to get into, just learn a little bit more about you um, and sort of the stuff you've gone through. I like to get to know my friends better, you know. Um, so let's start off. Where are you from? Where were you born? Um, and we'll go from there. All right. Yep. I'm from Helena. Born in Helena, and yeah, went to school here. Yep. So Helena, uh, you went to high school here. You went to college. Yep. Uh, where'd you go to college at? I went to uh, U of M. U of M uh, in Missoula. Yeah. Um, you studied psychology there, correct? Y yes. What made you want to get into psychology as a major? Um, people are interesting. You know, they do. People are just. You know, they're different in their own ways, you know. Every single person is. Yep. Um, yep. I think we're all so different, but I think we're very, very alike in a lot of ways. Yeah. Um, so kind of what I do here in the podcast is you're like kind of painting a portrait of yourself. Um, I found out that things I've gone through in my life, um, turns out if I would have got in a podcast or like audiobooks or something or, or just in general, just seeking out information... I would have found out that a bunch of people have gone through a lot of similar things I have. And if I knew that before, I could have went and listened and watched and it would have like painted a, a picture for me how to go about that situation. So um, I let people here kind of talk about things that they've gone through and things that make them who they are, you know, like yeah. special chapters of their life, I would say, like important chapters of their life. Um, so I want to kind of get into some of that stuff and then we'll go into some stories a little bit later because... Sure. We've done a lot of rad shit together and yeah. gotten all sorts of troubles together. And uh, Bad boys. we've lived some, we've lived through some good times. So we're, we'll get into that stuff and we'll, we'll end on a nice happy note. And then we'll, we'll shoot some questions back and forth to each other. How's that sound? That sounds perfect. Awesome, buddy. Um, so what, um, can you give me like a little look into like what your childhood was like? Um, how you grew up? Where did you have your mom and dad? Uh, where'd you? Right. So, yeah. Yeah. So... Yeah, I grew up with, uh, my mom had me at 15, so she was pretty young, so my mom's parents took care of me while she went to high school. Mm -hmm. Kind of grew up right there, and we are in East Talena, and she finished high school, and that was, that was, uh, that was great, you know? Mm -hmm. So you were like three years old when, by the time that happened, or? Uh, yeah. When well, like, she got out, so oh, you yeah, were pregnant she, at 15, and then just, so did yeah. she have you and then go back to high school? I was at her graduation. Oh, no way. Yeah, yeah, so, that, that's cool. so, yeah, yeah. So, that's awesome. Uh, we did that, and then, uh, she went to Billings to go to, or we went to Billings to go, she went to law school there. No shit. Yeah, she was going to law school there. Good for her. And she took me, but I, I was really close to my grandparents. So I was just kind of confused leaving, like, school. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. You know? Yeah. So we did that. Do you remember those years pretty good? or? Yeah. I remember standing up in the car, even. Like, standing up like a little midget. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> like, I remember standing up in the car and going there. And I remember being at the apartments in uh, Billings. Yeah. And they were, uh, there was a pool, you know, and... You know how guys are. Mm -hmm. They're hitting on my mom, and I was just like <laughs> swimming around. You know, jeez. It was a, it was cool, but yeah, I was really bummed to leave my grandparents. I think. Yeah. You know. So you're 
to this day, you still pretty close to your grandparents? We'll get into them later, but are you pretty close to them? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. They're, they're good people. All my grandparents from every side. Really? 100%. Did everybody kind of tend to chip in and help, like, raise you in a way? Or how did that work? Was it just you, your mom, and uh, your two grandparents? or No, it was more in, uh, uh, what's it called? Just different periods of oh, life. Oh, okay, okay. So a little my grandparents, weird. my mom's parents helped me with... Uh, with when she was in high school okay so like up to like you know like three years old or four years old five years old whatever it was mm-hmm. and then and then the other grandparents like my dad that i consider my dad you know mm-hmm. you know i got the tavry name from him i was oh. like like six or seven you know but he's my stepdad but he is my dad so he had me at like he 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 brought me in like at seven years at old at seven and he's still chilling. He's still he's still chilling. That's all my brothers. We're yeah. all we're, they're all my half, but not same really. Thing, yeah, I know. It's I get that. A lot of people so, don't know this, but me and my sister, same thing. But we don't say it like that. Cause no, that, I, I never say it. I don't see it like that, bro. I don't care. Blood, half blood, full blood. It's all that's that's yeah. all I've ever known. That's yeah. all it's ever going to be is my sister. You know. And I'm sure same with you and your brothers. Yep, that's what I said. And I was like, I don't want a different last name. I was like, I want to rep the Tavry. I fucking love my dad. Yeah, that's awesome. So, that's awesome. So, um, just never in the picture, your biological dad? You know anything about him at all? Yeah, he's around. Yeah. Oh, he is? Yeah, he's around. He he went back to school a couple, or more than five years ago. He got his nursing degree. And oh, he's, no shit. He's doing good. He owns some land in Montana City. Oh, no shit. But it's more like a friend. Mm-hmm. He's more like a friend back and forth i don't like look up to him or yeah anything. like i don't like ask him for dad advice or shit. fuck no yeah I know. you know it's like yeah. what's up man what's up homes? you know yeah. or a dad it's like you know you got to be submissive sometimes you got to be like you know you look up to your dad absolutely and it's like okay what's he saying i'm gonna listen to this shit yep i get that completely well do you uh would you change anything the way you grew up at all like that scenario no no Hell no. I love my siblings yeah. too much for my mom to meet my my dad, you know. Mm-hmm. And That's then, awesome, dude. I would never change anything. That's awesome. I, I would take that. Are you I, you the oldest brother? I'm the oldest brother. Big dog? I'm the big dog. <laughs> the big dog, <laughs> hell yeah. That's awesome. I'm the big dog. <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, I, okay, real quick, I have a question. Yeah. What's your middle name? Edward. That's not a bad name, dude. Mark Edward Tavry. Mark Edward Tavry. That's not even Marcus. Back in the day, I would lie and you say You would go my, by Marcus? Yeah, I would say I was, my name was Marcus. Uh, and then I remember I had some chicks in the back of a car. <laughs> and I had resumes filled out in high school. And they were like... And, oh, oh, no. I said my middle... I said my name... First name was Marcus. My middle name was James. Yeah. Oh. And they saw Mark Edward. They're like, your name's not Marcus. And it's not fucking, James. It's not James. You're like, who the fuck are you? Oh, damn it. Uh, yeah. That's fucking funny. Yeah. It's not that bad of a name. <laughs> Edward, though, I like that. I'll never say it. I'll never bring it up, but I'm glad I know that now. Yeah. If we ever get in a huge fight, you like, Mark Edward, get your ass over. Get your over. I love that. Um, all right. Um, so that's a little bit of your childhood. Uh, tell me a little about your brothers and growing up with your brothers. What was that like? How are they? Tell me a little bit about yeah, that. Yeah, they're doing great. You know, uh, Gabriel's 21 now. Uh, he was going to pharmacy school and kind of stopped that, which is kind of a bummer. Yeah. But he's, he's doing well though. He makes good money and yeah, and he's doing well. Peyton, he's like a big, big kid and yeah. awesome. Doing well. Doing well. Just graduated high school, you know? Nice. Haley, she's cool. She's, me and her share the same birthday, so we kind of deal with that. Gotcha. Yeah, I know. Gotcha. All right, um, so getting back to where we left off, Angie goes to Billings for uh, to go to law school, correct? Yeah. What what comes after that? Uh, we we come back home. We come back home, and yeah, she didn't do good in law school. She didn't she didn't graduate. Yeah. So we came back home, and then yeah, I guess my mom met another guy before my dad you know okay before your dad before my dad okay yeah. so we got a house in east talena mm-hmm. he's all right you know 
I was like, calm down and shit, but... Yeah. But, you know, he was, he was there. He was, he was around and got a cool Rottweiler named Kane. <laughs> fucking love that dog. Yeah? Yeah, fuck yeah. Dude, I love that you're a dog guy. Some people aren't. You know how my dogs can be a little excited when they see people? Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad you're a dog guy. For sure. Yeah. Um, all right. Um, just let me see you here. Um, let's, uh, yeah, so we wrote chapters down. Um, we're going, so, uh, Jersey. We want to talk about Jersey. Um, mm-hmm. Did that take place during the time right there where your mom met that guy? Or, or Can you explain the situation to me? Uh, Jersey was Angie's, my mom's fourth kid. So it was me, Gabriel, Peyton, Jersey. And, uh, yeah, we had a tough time. We got evicted out of one of our houses. So we moved back with my dad's parents, which is fine. I was like 14 or 15. And, uh, yeah, she, she pretty much, uh, yeah, uh, she had SIDS, which is, you know, they fall asleep and they don't wake up. You know, that happened. The acronym, at, yeah. Yep. And she she passed away. And it was it was really hard on my mom. Holy fuck. It was really hard on everyone, you know. I lost a sister and my dad lost a daughter. Yeah. So it but was for the mom that's gotta be, you know, from everyone, that's gotta be the who would take it the hardest, you know? Yep. So she took it the hardest and she, but she didn't handle it responsibly like as a parent. You got to be there as a parent. And that's why I fucking respect my dad so much in that time. Yeah. He fucking bucked up. Really? Hell yeah, he did. My mom, my mom started just like drinking, you know, doing really poor decisions, you know? Yeah. Like quitting her job, gambling my dad's money. We already got evicted. So it's kind of, we're at home, but we're at my grandparents, but we're saving money again, I think. Yeah. I don't know. I'm yeah. like 15. Yeah. I mean, at 15, like, my life was kind of falling apart at the same time. Mm. And all I really cared about was, like, my friends, my girlfriend playing football. You know what I mean? Like, normal. Things. I really wasn't aware of what's going on around me because I'm so fixated on your friends and family and stuff. I don't know how that was for you, though. Yeah, that's exact. that's exactly it. And I was just like... Well, now I realize it now. I was like, holy, mm-hmm. she's, she's kind of out of control here. And my dad couldn't take it anymore, you know? Yeah. So she's, so she, yes, she, she got, she got pretty bad. So my, obviously my dad left her, you know? Yeah. And he got custody of all the kids, you know? I, mine didn't matter. I moved to my grandparents. That's another chapter. You, you, know. you were older, right? I was older. I was like, this is fucked. Yeah. I was like, this is so fucked. Like, yeah. damn it, we just lost Jersey, and now we're just gonna... Now we're fighting. Break like, I thought we were, like, a cool little family. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna go to my real dad's grandparents. Mm-hmm. Or, uh, real dad's parents. Okay. Yeah. And they, they, you know... Took care of you? They were so excited to take care of me that's they awesome. were fucking pumped were they yeah, fuck yeah they were because my mom was a stubborn woman yeah when she was 15 mm-hmm. didn't let, let them see me damn. so they got to take me in my teenage years damn so they're like, that had been kind of a cool experience for you too though like i love chilling i loved chilling with my grandparents yeah. like my grandpa would drink budweiser's and watch baseball all day i would just go chill with him for hours and just kick it it's yeah. the best yeah it was cool and it was, like, cool because, like, we were, like, kind of a poor family. Mm-hmm. And then I just moved to, like, my grandparents' house when I'm, like, 15 and a half. And it's just, it's like a mansion. No. It's, I mean, it's not a mansion, but, but it's... But, like, in comparison to it's, it's fucking sweet. Yeah. It's the sweetest fucking house. That's sick. Man. And I was just like, holy shit. I remember I went there and I fucking went downstairs. I, I can't believe how cocky I was. I said, <laughs> I was like, so I, I'm thinking I want a truck. And then they laughed at me. 
They're like, what do you think? We're made of money? What? <laughs> yeah, you're, you're getting a piece of shit car, dude. That's funny, dude. <laughs> you like thought that, you had it like that? I thought I had it like that. I thought I went from like, okay, Yo, I earned this. To I'm Bel Air? Going, you have the Bel Air. I was oh, like, what's up? Damn. And man. then they're like, oh no, we're going to get you yeah. this Nissan Sentra for $500. I'm like, thank you. All right, I'm cool. With I, that. I was like, okay, now I'm now I'm learning. Now I'm learning. learning. I'm like, Damn. oh wow, this is. So you don't just get stuff. You, yeah, you have to earn it, and That's... and no matter what, even if you're, you know, have a nice house, doesn't mean you're. Yeah. Doesn't mean you're like pretentious or like have whatever mm -hmm. you want. You still. Yeah. work for it yeah some people they just get spoiled in yeah that situation and i thought that mm -hmm. i did i thought anyone that has a nice house got that that was yep. that was way out of my head but that's growing up right now you absolutely know that for sure <laughs> yeah you yeah. lived it yeah dang so that was that was pretty chill staying with your grandparents and whatnot so you had to grow up kind of quick though right because yeah. you didn't really have your biological parents here yeah. kind of guiding you your yeah. grandparents are there but what you're 15 16 something like that yeah i walked downstairs and my uncle my uncle was only nine years older being he had a 16th birthday so i know i was for sure in my teens yeah 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 so he <laughs> he yeah so i grew up in my teens there but uh cindy said my grandma cindy said that she always had to wake up the kids and stuff and <laughs> blah blah like her you know my uncles uh -huh. like get your ass up let's go to let's go to bed and she said like the first day i slept in or i slept or i lived there and she was like you were up and ready and you're ready to roll she's like that's so weird you're like a good kid i was a good kid i was ready to roll i was yeah. like because i know at my house they if they didn't wake me up i wasn't going to school you weren't going to school so i was like i need to get like this fucking shitty ass high school diploma uh -huh. so like they wouldn't wake me up isn't that crazy that's crazy so she was like holy shit like you just like are up and you're eating breakfast like, it's like yeah i gotta go to I, high school i have to or else <laughs> no one else is gonna wake me up like <laughs> that's crazy yeah that's nuts dude no that's that is a part of growing up quick you know that's an adult thing to do yeah. that's what adults do and yeah. I don't know. That's good shit, though. Um, all right, so high school. Boom. What's going on this time period? What's next? High school is fine. Yeah? Yeah. Nothing bad. I don't I don't really know what to say about high school. It's like seems like a blur. But, like, I'll talk to people, you know, and, and or, like, certain, like, girls that I've met and stuff, and they said I was so nice. Yeah, everybody that you I've know. met that talks to you or like you know cross paths with they're like yeah he's just really sweet he get pretty fucked up a lot but he's pretty sweet kid yeah. you know what i mean like because i'm sure you're partying with them and stuff or something yeah but i just don't like remember it like super intense yeah like yeah it's like i just knew my fucking homies you know i got my homies but it's like be fucking polite be nice like shit like that you know yeah that's normal shit like right now yeah but I don't remember how, like, some people will remember it, mm -hmm. you know? I get that. I mean, it's just, in the way I look at it, I go, it's just high school. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, look, yeah. look at life and the actual real-life problems we have now. Like, high school is just a cakewalk, you know? It was just yeah. whatever. So, um, so, what's after high school? What's, uh, what's next? I went to Missoula, and, yeah, that's when I went to college, met up with, Tiana, still dating Tiana then. Nice. And shout out to Tiana. Shout out Tiana. Word. Um, all right, so uh, you're majoring in psychology. You're doing that. Uh, you're drinking like a fish? You're getting saucy not, in it? No, no, not as much. Though. No, not as much? Not, no, I still was drinking, but not as much. But not like that. Okay. Yeah. Not like... Uh, like us? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, not like us, no. <laughs> all right, good. <laughs> That's but good. it was it was cool, man. We had lots of fun parties, and I met a bunch of people from Seattle, man. Yeah, so cool. Bunch of Seattle people are so. I mean, they're cool as fuck. They are. I fucking love all those guys over there. Pat Soba, Chris Soba, what up? What up? They're fucking just. There's good. Yeah, all good people. Man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Reese went to school down there too. Yeah. Were you going to school at the same time as him? Yeah. Then? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, we were. Yeah, he he was doing a lot of studying. <laughs> yeah, he was doing a lot of studying, but then he would come down to the slipper and get fucked up. Yeah, yeah. oh, dude. Yeah. I would come down there, like, every other weekend while he was going to school, and yeah. I would just get annihilated, wasted all weekend long. 
And then, like, he would just be like, I got to study, study, study. But then, like, 9 o'clock rolled around and make him, like, beer bong a couple beers and psh, we'd party all night. Oh, dude. yeah, dude. He hung over Sunday on his couch watching football. Uh, yeah, that's what we'd do. He would study and, I, and we'd watch golf and that's how he got me into golf. Yeah, He's that like, helped. just watch golf. Just like, cause I'm like, this is boring as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so many people. And then I was like, oh, fuck, this is kind of fucking cool. It is. You know, and then... He's like studying. I was like, "Do you know all your, you know everything?" He's like, "Yep, we can go." <laughs> I'm like, "Perfect." Well, I know what a par is. You know, yeah, like, dude. <laughs> dude, I'm. I still golf. He, that dude can golf. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. he's really good. He's just one of the best golfers I know. Um, all right. So, uh, what's our next chapter, Mutt? What's the on your uh, storyline? Those important things, those big, big moments of your life. What was the next one we were, we were talking about? What's the next one from then or from now? Uh, from then. From then after college. So we got Angie that we went through. Yeah. And then I got jail. jail. We got jail. Yeah. When I was in college, I. <laughs> <laughs> I got a DUI on New Year's Eve. For. Uh, driving drunk but i went to the taco bell drive through and i made it home too on new year's eve i knew you're not supposed to drive <laughs> you <laughs> yeah, know yeah, it happens and i went there and i went through the drive through and your boy wanted to take a nap <laughs> want to take a nap mid burrito mid it was bur- a 1500 hundred dollar burrito man oh my goodness so they're knocking on the thing <laughs> they took me to jail that was damn that was bad. My boy. That's legendary shit, though. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm a fan of it. I know yeah. it's a, it's not the best thing, but yeah. that's a story not a lot of people can just say they did that happen yep. to them. And now. everyone gives me shit throughout that. was like a $3,000 burrito. It's like, I know, fucker. I know, dude. Yeah, it's like, thank you for that. Dude, that... Oh, God. That's so funny. Um, ooh. Story time. So... Lake Havasu. Yeah. Lake Havasu, um, you, me, Murph, uh, Zach, who else? Uh, Ray. And Ray. We all went down to Lake Havasu, Arizona, spent a week there for spring break. Yeah. And we just rented this fat house. And we partied every single day. Yeah. So hard. Fucking. And vodka and kirkland beer oh dude we bought like five packs of these what 48 packs of beers yeah kirkland at costco they make these humongous boxes of the grossest light beer you'll ever taste just disgusting yeah and we bought like three cases of them just because it was cheap we didn't even try them and then gallons of vodka yeah gallons of vodka gallons of vodka we were oh my goodness dude that was like the first night these guys were doing like uh races like beer bong races who could drink the most beers mm-hmm. zach drank like 23 beers was like puking everybody everybody was just taking blows after blow just drinking oh man those kirklands those kirkies dude dude kirky uh, lights no good that was so fucking fun man what's it called kokomo's kokomo's yeah kokomo's, kokomo's. that's a roscoe dash dude Remember roscoe, roscoe dash, dash that kokomo's. yeah <laughs> yeah he did had a concert there dude it was lit that was one of the <laughs> dopest trips ever that was so sick that was so much fun dude dude i remember pissing outside on the rocks because there's no grass it's it, kind of fucked up yeah it's so hot there. and uh uh <laughs> and i just remember all these lizards crawling over my feet and i was just so mad <laughs> i was like what the fuck dude where the fuck am i i was like where the fuck there's lizards out there and the back's like no shit dumbass you're in arizona <laughs> you're in arizona it's i was like country. all right well Fuck you. That, you. Have some lizards on your fucking Have dose, some bitch. lizards. Oh, man. <laughs> Dude, that was such a good time. Yeah. That was such a good time. Holy shit. Um, ridiculousness. Oh, Mexico. Mexico. So Mexico was last year. Mm-hmm. Last year we went on a bachelor party trip to Mexico. Cabo. Cabo. Cabo San Lucas. And... Um, <clears throat> So we start drinking, not on the first flight. I don't know. I don't think because do we left super early. Yeah. We stayed in Bozeman at Marcus's house. Shouts out to Marcus. Yep. 
Um, and then we went to the airport and we like kind of power napped to Utah, yeah. got off and it was like 7.45 and you can start drinking at 8 a.m. And I was like, all right, boys, 15 minutes. We got like two hour layover, let's get after it. And we all just start hammering Long Island iced teas <laughs> <laughs> at like 8 a.m. Oh my goodness. And yeah, so we're like fun. sauced by the time we get on the plane, yeah. it's like 10 something. And then, Remember Sam got in trouble on the plane? Yeah, he almost got kicked off the plane. Yeah, he got in, get, getting kicked off the goddamn plane. He was so wasted, and he was wilding out. And Andrew was like, fucking chill, dude. And he was like trying to say bomb or something like that. Oh, Wasn't he? my God. Oh, my goodness. Oh, He's in it. Yeah. Dude. That, but that's how wasted he was. Sam's the, the dopest. Shouts out to Sam. Yeah. Sam Rowe, you're the man. Yeah, if you need a fly fishing guide in Bozeman, Sam's your guy. I'm telling you. Um... But, dude, yeah, he was, like, wiling out on the plane. There's, like, Snapchat still. There's, like, uh, the, the, the dinner tables down on, between their seats, and there's just, like, riddled with bottles, like, the shooter bottles just everywhere. And I'm like, Jesus Christ. I'm watching their story, and I'm, like, a couple rows back, like, what the fuck? Yeah, we're you, back They're, there. like, talking with the stewardess, and I was like, what are these dudes doing? Like he needs to sit down. And he's, like, six fucking three. He's, like, huge, you know. huge dude. Oh, man. That was hilarious. So we he doesn't get kicked off, thankfully. No, we made it. We make it there. We're going through. Somehow we get on our bus. We were lost as shit. That was bad. We didn't get anyone. We, we, we didn't get what we wanted. <laughs> we didn't get what we needed. We ended up on some random bus that take us to this dirt road and <laughs> brought us to this resort. <laughs> resort. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was, I was like, I don't even know. But we were drinking that whole way. Yep, we were. But they, they, they like you drinking in Mexico. So as soon as they get you on that bus, they got megaphones. They're passing beers out. Hey, yeah. you know, let's go. we're just like, let's go. Americanos. Yeah, we're just like, all right, dude, getting after it already. Yeah. We got a couple hour bus ride. We get yeah. to the resort. We're checking in, doing all that stuff. We all hit our rooms. And it was probably an hour total before we went down to the pool. So we're drinking a little bit. We get down to the pool. I'm chilling. Uh, Sam is wasted, but he's like in the pool, passed out, like mm -hmm. floating upside down. They're all fucking with him, taking pictures. It's hilarious. It was awesome. Um, I was talking to somebody. You you were wasted. Yeah, I was. Yeah, you were macking on some black honey. No, that, I wasn't. That yeah. was. <laughs> or maybe that was Reese. Yeah. I don't know. But that, but that was dope. I was like, go ahead, spit that game, boy. <laughs> that was tight. Um, but while that's happening, I'm watching this. I look over, and there's Mexican dudes pushing a wheelchair over woo, right to the pool. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And Reese is like, dude, what's going on? And I'm like, oh, shit. It's got to be Sam. He was all passed out in the pool. So I pull up my phone. To... All right. So the battery died in the middle of that story. But so long story short, um, Sam gets wheeled up to his room in a wheelchair. <laughs> um, um, we that was our that was our first day, our first experience at our resort in Mexico. Literally one hour in, uh, our boy is getting wheelchaired out, and I'm recording <laughs> it happen the whole time. It's it was ridiculous. Um, so ooh, shit, where was I with that? Uh, I'll edit this out. Um, wait on chairing people out. Um, um, and then the Aris and CR. Um, so I'm, I'm going to start with, I'm just going to start right here. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, ridiculousness. Ridiculousness. Season 30, episode one. What's the episode called? Uh, Spring Broken. Spring Broken. That's yeah. us. It's the video of uh, the wheelchair incident in yep. Mexico and Cabo. Um, <clears throat> so the last thing we're going to get into here is... Um, Mutt's going to tell a story uh, about um, an experience he had a, about a year ago, right? Yeah, about a year ago, uh, I went golfing with my buddy Murph. We were playing the virtual golfing over at Bill Roberts. And I didn't know he was going to invite anyone, and he did. And he invited uh, Eris and CR. And they were just, uh, I was very, uh, I was I was not doing well at that point. I thought it was just going to be me, me, and Murph. Be me and Murph. And they were just the sweetest people of all time, you know. And I just felt bad that I didn't ever say anything to them. And uh, it's just kind of crazy because back in high school, I 
used to think that Eris was the sweetest person and I would pretend to be her brother just because I just thought she was so sweet, you know? And I'm just happy she found someone like CR that's like super sweet. And then I fast forward to uh, my mom telling me a story about this couple that's about my age that tips my brother really well and like they really like each other. And then they're like, oh, uh, she heard Mutt and she's like, oh, I know Mutt, he, you know, and then name's Eris and it's just, it just, it's cool to be kind and it's like crazy how kind people attract kind people and I just, uh, a shout out to them and they're, uh, it's just pretty cool, to, pretty cool to me. Yeah, um, Eris and CR have been very good friends of mine and they've been there for me. Uh, when I've been in bad positions and, you know, they never ask questions. They they just always open their home to me and they've been just such great people. So congratulations, Eris and CR, on your wedding. You guys are the poster beautiful couple and I uh, I love you guys so much. You guys are the raddest. Um, and thanks for being kind all the time because uh, it makes a difference. Uh, yes. You were struggling at that time and you didn't necessarily want to be around other people at, in that moment. Still, and they were still awesome. And they were still, you know, so, yeah, there, there's still a lot of good out in the world. Um, I'm very sure of that. Um, and you, my friend, you're a very good person. You're a good friend of mine. So um, thank you so much for doing this, Mutt. Um, it means a lot to me. Um, thanks for being able to come here and be vulnerable and, you know, talk about things because... I think hearing these people's stories will, will it'll help somebody. So thank you so much, man. Absolutely, man. I appreciate you. Appreciate you. All right, everybody. Uh, I will see you guys in like two, three weeks after Fourth of July. Um, love y'all. Peace.